Good morning, everyone. Good morning. And welcome to our online Sunday service. If you don't know already, I'm Becky. And I'm Anne. So it's great to have you with us this morning. And as you'll see in the news, this will be our last Sunday online as next week we will back, be back to having service in person, which is really great news. Yes, so um, we're excited to see people um, properly <laughs> next yeah. time around. And um, we're just going to hold one service um, at 10.30, but that will mean that it can be a little bit longer, um, about an hour. And, um, and it does mean um, that you will need to book in. And uh, we're asking please that you book in uh, via the WhatsApp group or just message me personally. Um, I'm not opening booking until Tuesday morning. That means that uh, anybody who's not seeing this or maybe a little bit later in the day or on Monday um, has the same opportunity as you to actually book in. And um, if we find we have more people booking in than we have spaces, we will open a waiting list. And um, and if you find um, that for whatever reason, at very short notice, you have to drop out, just let us know and we can um, slot somebody else in your place. Mm -hmm. And also, um, if you don't manage to get it booked into a service, we will then give you priority booking for the following week. Mm -hmm. um, so please don't try and book early. Booking mm -hmm. will always open on a Tuesday morning. But if you have missed out one week, I will be in touch with you um, earlier than the Tuesday morning to make sure that you are booked in for the following week. OK, mm -hmm. so hopefully <laughs> that's clear. We'll put some more information on the WhatsApp group uh, as well to remind you all of that. So um, this morning we are um, going to take communion together and um, communion is a special time when we remember what Jesus did for us, how uh, through his death on the cross he um, brought us back for God and uh, he reconciled us to God by taking our punishment. And, um, and so Becky's going to um, start us off with a reading from Ephesians. Yeah, so I'm going to be reading Ephesians 2, verses 1 to 5. As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins, in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world and of the ruler of the kingdom of air, the spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. All of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature deserving of wrath. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. So let's just take a moment now to come before God and confess our personal sins to him, because it's by grace that we are saved. So you might want to take a minute, just pause this video and take time to come before God now. Hebrews 8 verse 12 says this, For I will forgive their wickedness and will remember their sins no more. And um, the amazing thing about that verse is that when we confess our sins, God doesn't even remember <laughs> the sins that we've just uh, confessed. And um, and it's not like, you know, human people, we tend to, um, we, we say, oh, okay, we'll forgive you, but we still can hold things back and hold on to them and, and want to point the finger again. But God is not like that. If we confessed our sins in true repentance, then he just wipes them out. It's as if they never happened. He doesn't even remember what they were. So that's just um, such a, a truly amazing thing, isn't it? And uh, I just want to pray for us now as we remember that fact. So Lord, um, as we come to you and we remember, Lord, that, that you are such a good God and that when we confess our sins, when we truly uh, repent and say we're sorry and mean we're sorry and really turn away from those things, Lord, you, you forget that we even sinned in the first place. You wipe them out because of the blood of Jesus. And so, Lord, we just want to say we're thankful, we're grateful. We just want to bless you. We just want to honour your name. We just want to worship you for the wonderful thing that you do for us because of Jesus and because of the cross. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. 
So now that we've confessed our sins um, to the Lord, we're, here's our bread and uh, here's our juice, or you can have wine. Um, we're going to, in a moment, take time to take communion together. And um, we always begin by breaking the bread because we remember that Jesus' body was broken. And um, the wine reminds us that his blood was shed for us. So we're going to have a little pause now and we're going to take these um, symbols together. And why don't you, uh, on your own or in your household, take your communion together? And then we'll see you in a few moments when you've done that. So now that we've taken communion together, uh, I'm just going to explain to you uh, about what's going to happen next this morning. Um, we're being a little bit different today. Um, we have um, some guest speakers. So we have um, two pastors, a married couple, Mike and Sue Ella, and they are from Nuneaton Elim Church. And um, they're doing um, a talk on what makes a healthy church. And um, it's a little bit like a conversation, like a bit like me and Becky sitting next to one another and, and talking about things. And um, they're talking about the things that make for a healthy church. And uh, it is a little bit different, their presentation style, but I'm sure you'll enjoy it. And I'd really be interested to hear your thoughts about some of the points uh, that they make as they share with us this morning. And um, of course, there'll always be a worship playlist in the description of this video. So it's completely up to you if you want to worship right now. Once we finish this part, um, you can spend some time and worship or you can watch it um, watch the talk first and then worship. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Both links are in the description of this video. OK, so we will see you in person next um, Sunday morning, which will be brilliant. We really look forward to that. And in the meantime, God bless you and I uh, hope you have a really good week. So bye for now.